Hey, what is going on, fan clan? Welcome back to the channel. Merry Christmas Eve. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you're having a wonderful holiday. Uh, whatever you guys do, hope you are happy, healthy, safe. Uh, it's it's just a, a very, very wonderful time of the year to be with family, friends, loved ones. Uh, I love this time of year. It's great. Uh, I had made the unfortunate decision the other day to start cleaning and reorganizing my entire studio area. So what you don't see right now is the fact that this office is actually a complete and utter disaster. Uh, but my main goal is to try and redo all of it. Just begin 2022 on a completely new slate. It's going to be a lot of fun and I want to get it all done before our charity stream, which is next week, Thursday at 1 p.m. right here on this YouTube channel. We're going to be opening up Hidden Fates tins for NAMI for the National Alliance on mental illness, teaming up with Lee and Hart and 71 other content creators. Uh, for details, I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can go and donate every $25 increment that you donate. Gets you entered in an, a, a chance for the giveaway. It's going to be super fun. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. I can't wait to see you guys there. Before we jump into things today, uh, we're going to be talking about one set that has kind of done okay. Everything else has crashed. Pokemon is not in a really good spot right now. And we're going to talk more about that in 2022, about how I think um, whether or not we're going to be able to come out of it, what it looks like, what box prices look like. I mean, it's a, it's a disaster for a lot of LGSs when they're selling all these booster boxes at a loss. $80, $85 for a booster box. There's no way that they're profiting on it. They're definitely losing money. The reason they're doing it is because they're trying to burn and turn through inventory so that way they can pay invoices, so that way they can pay the distributors, so that way they can pay and get ready to pay for brilliant stars. There's a lot of product that continues to come out. We just had Fusion Strike Wave 2, and before or after that, we're going to be having more product come out when brilliant stars hit. So uh, prices are not good right now, but one set that has done okay is Evolving Sky. So we're going to jump right into that in just a second here. But before we begin, I do want to let everybody know about a new giveaway that we're going to be doing because of Christmas, because of the holiday season, and because of our quest beginning officially on January 1st, 2022, where we march our way to 100,000 subscribers. We are going to be doing something super special that I'm very excited about. We're going to be giving away a box break of Evolving Skies, and this isn't a normal box box break. This is a guaranteed ultra hitter box break. What that means is we are going to be opening packs until you get an ultra rare. So there's going to be 36 slots, just like a normal box break. I'm going to leave the details in the description down below. There's going to be a Gleam link where you can go enter. You're going to have three different ways that you can earn a point. Uh, follow on Instagram, follow on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube. All of that will be laid out right there. All you have to do is click the link down below. Just make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Danny underscore underscore O or no, Danny.Phantom. Twitter is Danny underscore underscore O. And then you get three entries. We're going to choose 36 winners, and then we're going to live stream a box break, a guaranteed hitter, guaranteed ultra rare hitter uh, of Evolving Skies. That means if we open up like eight packs and all we get are hollow rares or less, we're going to keep going until we get you an ultra rare. Uh, and then you're going to get every single thing that we're open, we opened up, not just reverse hollow, not, or not just the, the hollow rare. I'm not going to keep any of the commons or anything like that. You're going to get it all. So it's going to be a super fun time. We're going to try and schedule that the first week of the new year. I can't wait for it. With that being said, let's turn you guys around and let's take a look at Evolving Skies prices, which are very, very entertaining to look at and not doing too bad. We're not going to pay a whole lot of attention to the Troll and Toad price just to keep things uh, convenient, keep things uh, consistent and look things over. I did pull the Troll, Troll and Toad price. Uh, all the prices that I found on Troll and Toad for the most part, they weren't listed by Troll and Toad. It was part of their Evo program where they allow other sellers, other storefronts to kind of use their website, get more eyes on their product and sell. Their prices are considerably higher on a lot of these singles. Uh, so we're not going to pay any attention to what Troll and Toad has listed, but we are going to pay attention to this column right here, which is the TCG player pricing that we pulled yesterday. So this was on December 23rd, and we are comparing it to opening week. Uh, we right here, uh, this troll or this TCG player price right here. This was the opening weekend price. Uh, dropped 54.55% for Rayquaza VMAX from pre-order to opening week. And then all of a sudden now we are looking at what, four months later, which is December 23rd because the Evolving Skies came out four months ago. So we are looking at some not too bad pricing on a lot of these different in a lot of these different areas because we have seen, if you look and pay attention to the market right now, there are, I mean, if we did these spreadsheets for every set, which we can, uh, you're going to see 
uh, some very, very substantial decreases when it comes to singles for all these sets that have been reprinted to oblivion, like Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Vivid Voltage, these sets that have seen so much product just kind of hit the floor all over the place. All the singles have crashed like crazy, and uh, it's it's really, really hurting the market. Uh, but if we look at Rayquaza VMAX, that is no longer the most expensive card in the set that has been replaced by Umbreon VMAX, but Rayquaza VMAX dropped 41%, which is actually the highest drop we've seen out of all of the, pro the products that we're taking a look at here. 41%, so it dropped 54% opening weekend, and now it's dropped another 41.5% on top of it. So this is kind of the card that has fallen the trend. This is the card that's kind of been hit like many others uh, it's actually fallen very very hard but it's still sitting at $146 and if we're comparing Pokemon cards now to Pokemon cards five years ago the opportunity for Pokemon cards to be selling for over $100 after a set releases there was none it just didn't happen so when we're comparing prices now to let's say you know 2015 2016 after a set released you might have a couple of cards here and there that pre-ordered for above $100 I remember when evolutions released the full art mega Charizard sold for over $100 but after that after opening weekend the prices crashed everything was selling for you know dirt cheap and then it kind of continued that trend you know for every set that was released and now all of a sudden we have a few cards that kind of stay above that hundred dollar mark and evolving skies is no different with this rayquaza v max that's selling for 146 dollars the umbreon v max is the card that's done really really well and has replaced rayquaza v max is the most expensive card in evolving skies it's selling right now for 169 dollars this is the lowest near mint copy that was available to purchase last night on tcg player it's only dropped 22.83 so if you start thinking about all of the products that came out, Evolving Skies booster boxes, you can see on the bottom, they can be had right now for between $100 and $110. And you can pull an Umbreon VMAX. Granted, it is a secret rare, $169 card, but that's what a lot of people are chasing after, these, these cards that are worth over $100. But it starts, it starts looking a lot more attractive to buy a booster box to chase after that card when it's selling for $170, which is considerably higher than the price point for the actual booster box. It's only dropped 23% since opening week. Uh, which is a very very strong hold and that's kind of the norm for just about all of these cards except for a couple uh, Sylveon VMAX the secret rare has dropped down to $80 that's a 28% drop then we've got the Rayquaza V a card that's only dropped 21.4% and had a very very big drop from opening or from pre-order to opening weekend uh, as you can see it dropped 68 to 69% uh, and now it's down to 73.49 which is an additional 21.4% drop if we look at Glaceon V that's dropped down to $40.99. This had a, a fairly substantial drop opening weekend. Evolving Skies was much like a lot of other sets that we've seen in the past between 60 and 70% drop for a, a, across the board just about from pre-order price to opening weekend. But now it's only dropped 33%, which isn't too bad and it's one of the higher cards that has dropped. Uh, if we look at Espeon V, the alternate art, same price, $40.99, but that card has only dropped 22.28%, which isn't bad at all. Then we've actually got a card that has increased, and that is the Umbreon V, the alternate art. So all the product that has been opened, all the new singles that have been hitting the market, all the Umbreons that have hit the market, and we're going to talk in a second about why I think Evolving Skies is doing such a good job with its legs. This card has actually gained 12% since opening week. It was selling for $71.19 at the end of August, beginning of September. It's gone through a huge, huge reprint, wave two, wave three, whatever you want to call it, and it's actually gained uh, value. It's up to $80, which is very, very strange for a card, uh, a set that's been reprinted so many times. Then we've got Leafeon VMAX, which has dropped less than 20%, down to $71.97. Another card that has done really, really well is the Glaceon VMAX Alternate Art. That's dropped down to $82, which is only a 15% drop. Then we've got the Umbreon VMAX Rainbow Rare. The Rainbow Rares have definitely taken a little bit more of a hit. This has dropped down to $25.99, which is a 38% drop, but that's on top of a 76% drop that it had from pre-order to opening weekend. As you can see, it was pre-ordering for $175, which is a very expensive pre-order price. We took all of these cards that were pre-ordering for well over $100, and that's what we did for our use for our comparison to see how they would respond. Uh, and this is, I mean, from over $100 all the way down to $26 is pretty crazy when you think about it. So it's dropped an additional 38%. Duraludon VMAX, uh, a card that a lot of people People just weren't overly excited about it didn't have very very good uh, very strong legs it dropped huge numbers almost 78 percent originally from pre-order price to opening weekend and now it's dropped an additional 31 and a half percent down to 27 dollars and 17 cents uh, the dragonite v actually hasn't been doing too bad it's been holding on pretty well and it only dropped about 51 percent from pre-order price to opening weekend and now it's dropped an additional 12 percent which is very very strong 65 dollars is what it's currently selling at on t 
TCG player. If you look during release, before the set even released, it was selling for $150, but right after the set released, it was only selling for $8 more than what it is right now, so not too bad of a card. Uh, the Rayquaza VMAX Rainbow Rare, another card that has seen a decent drop, but not nothing too substantial, uh, which is somewhat surprising considering the fact that it's a Rainbow Rare. Uh, it dropped 65% opening weekend, and now it's dropped an additional 26% on top of that, but $38.49 for a Rainbow Rare. If you look at all the other Rainbow Rares that have come out over the past several sets, this is going to be probably your most expensive one. $38.49. Then we've got the Alternate Art Sylveon V, only dropped an additional 18%. It's down to $47.50. And finally, the Alternate Art Leafeon V, which has dropped down to $46. Uh, it's dropped... 25%, which isn't bad at all. When we're looking at Evolving Skies, we can start comparisons, not quite too uh, hidden fates, but there is uh, this factor behind it. There is this excitement behind it because there are so many cards in the set that are fan favorites, Like right? You have, you have your Rayquaza, which people love, and then you have the entire Evolutions line. But the great thing about those cards is that they all have alternate arts attached to them, and that's why so many people are excited about Evolving Skies. And I think that this set, much like Hidden Fates, is a set that's holding the test of time very well because of the fact that people are filling out master sets and not willing to part with their extras, not willing to part with their cards. You see a lot of people who are collecting Hidden Fates that are collecting play sets of each rarity, play sets of each cards. They want master sets, multiple master sets, and I think the same thing is happening with Evolving Skies, where a lot of people are collecting multiple master sets or multiple copies of each card because they do love this set so much. They see investment value in it, they see long-term hold value in it, they see um, great ability in it, they like all of the artworks, they see fan favorites all over the place across the board. And when you look at a set like Chilling Rain, which does have a couple of cool cards in it, it's got some fan favorites in it. You look at a set like Battle Styles, which outside of Tyranitar and Empoleon, there's not a whole lot of cards that people are super excited about. You look at sets like Fusion Strike, which outside of Mew and Gengar, there's not a whole lot of cards that people are super excited about. But Evolving Skies has so much, which is really why it's holding on so well. A set like Fusion Strike, and we'll look at videos on this in the new year, is a great set to open because there's so much playability in it, and those cards like Genesect, like Gengar, like Mew, are selling for very high values where it almost makes sense to open a box because you can buy a box for under $100 and you're going to pull more than $100 in value out of the box. Whereas an Evolving Skies box right now, kind of the same thing, but in a different way. There is a lot of playability factor in it. The Umbreon V, the Umbreon VMAX, those are selling for strong numbers, but the collector side of things, the fact that there's so many fan favorites in this set, is helping catapult this set to the point where it's actually uh, it makes more sense for people to open it because they're more excited about it and they think it's going to last them long term uh, which makes a whole lot of sense to me uh, $109.12 for a booster box on TCG Player, $102.95 for a booster box on eBay. If you look hard enough, I'm sure you could find booster boxes for $100 or less. They're not flying off the shelves. I think Pokemon in general is not near where it was several months ago, and the demand for it has greatly decreased, which is unfortunate because the supply has increased so, so much, and obviously the two can go hand in hand. But it's a very interesting thing to look at, and these prices are actually doing fairly well in the singles market, considering so much of the other singles in the market are suffering greatly. So with that being said, I just wanted to give out that information. I hope you guys are having a great Christmas. Make sure to click the Gleam link down below in the description so you can get your entry. We're going to be running this giveaway contest until January 2nd because I believe that's next week Sunday. And then we're going to choose the 36 winners and then we're going to schedule the date and time for the booster box break where you are guaranteed to get a hit. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Share the video. Share the channel we are going for a hundred thousand subscribers in 2022 that is our quest it's going to be a lot of fun and i can't wait to go on that quest with you guys but i'm going to need a lot of help i need you guys i'm going to need a lot of help as you can see we're not even at 55,000, so we got a long ways to go and the only way we're going to get there is with you guys's help so thank you so much for everything make sure to hit that like button down below leave a comment tell your friends it's christmas share the video share the channel with everybody at your christmas gatherings just take their phone rip it out of their hands Hit that subscribe button, guys. Thank you so much for everything. Until next time, peace.